Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're going to test out these two GPUs. This is an RX 6600. This is a Sapphire mining GPU. This is the GPRO X060. I promise they're not the same GPU. You can see it's got two less video outs there on the mining card. So let's put these head to head and get started. So first of all, if you haven't checked out my previous video on this Sapphire Mining Edition GPU, I'll link it up in the card right there. But today, what I'm really excited to do is put that card versus the 6600, put them head to head against each other because the G Pro is essentially more or less a 6600 with a cut down core and boosted memory. So I really want to see once and for all how they do, especially what card is more efficient. So we're going to test all the popular mining algorithms. I'm talking Ethereum, Ergo, Ravencoin, Firo, and Flux. I'm going to show you the overclocks and the performance I'm getting. We're going to measure all of the wattage that they're pulling in line over PCIe using the Elmore Labs PMD. Then we're going to take all that information together, put it in a spreadsheet, look at what card is more efficient on what algorithm. And lastly, to wrap up the video, I'll give you my personal opinions on what GPU I think is the better buy for mining. And ultimately, is this Sapphire Mining Edition GPU even worth it? All right, we're going to kick it off with Ethereum. So you can see my Hive OS on the screen here. And the first thing I want to call out, just because it's probably a little confusing, is both GPUs come up in Hive OS labeled RX 6600. The GPU Zero, the first GPU that you see on the list there, is the 6600. And underneath that is the Sapphire G Pro X060. The way I can tell is that it has X02 uh, in the end of the number below the name of the GPU. So what we're looking at is performance um, with the... G Pro coming up a little higher in performance on Ethereum, 29.39 mega hash versus the 28.94 that we're hitting on the regular 6600. Overclocks and stuff are on the screen here. If you need them, feel free. But what I'm also interested to see is the wattage. You can see above me is the wattage for the 6600 right now, which is on PCIe 1, pulling between 50 and 53 watts mining Ethereum. And as I switch over here, what I'm curious to see is the mining specific GPU pulling more wattage. It is. So we're hitting 57 watts, 59 watts to do a little bit extra mega hash. So at the end, I'm curious to see what is going to be more efficient. But for now, those are the results on Ethereum. Ergo's up next. You can see the Sapphire Mining Edition GPU pulling a little bit more mega hash, about one more mega hash over the 6600. I'm um, using the same overclocks on every GPU I was just using on Ethereum. So again, let's take a look at the power usage. The 6600 up first, doing between 50, 49 watts mining Ergo. And then we switch over to the Sapphire mining GPU and we're pulling more. Again, we're pulling seven, nine watts more coming up to 58, 59 watts to do just one more mega hash. So I'm not really sure if that's going to be more efficient. But we'll take a look at the end. Ravencoin and Fear are up next. Their algorithms are pretty much identical. So their results will be the same. And you can see the performance is the same on each GPU. I did have to tweak the overclocks just a little bit on the mining specific GPU, the second one you see on your screen there, what you're looking at is the core voltage I needed to bring up from 605 to 620 just to give the core a little more juice or I noticed that it wasn't getting a lot of accepted shares and performance really wasn't there. So let's take a look at wattage for these two GPUs. 6600 is pulling 61, 64 watts in line and the Sapphire Mining Edition GPU is pulling a lot more. So 10 more watts for the same amount of performance. Not looking good so far. Last one is Flux. You can see right now mining over on G Miner in Hive OS and the 6600 is doing 16.4 solutions per second. And the Sapphire Mining Edition GPU is doing a little bit more, doing 16.8 solutions per second. The only tweak I needed to make overclock wise is I needed to raise the core voltage of the regular 6600 up to 660 in order to make sure that I was getting the full performance on Flux out of the GPU. So. Let's take a look at the wattage, 6600 up first. And you probably can tell already that the wattage moves quite a bit. We're at like 48 watts right now, 54 watts. I've seen it go as low as 30 watts. So I'm going to average that out for when we look at all these results at the end. Let's look at PCIe 2 over on the G Pro. Uh, same kind of deal, just wattage is fluctuating all over the place. High as 55 watts, low as 34 watts reported on the screen right now. So I'm going to sit with that, do some averages out, but that is flux. Spreadsheet time. So coming up on top here of the RX 6600 with the hash rates results that I tested over a long period of time. I took averages of everything, including the wattage and the hash rates able to get on all the algorithms. Overclocks are there too, in case you need it. But right underneath that is the Sapphire Mining Edition GPU. This is the RX G Pro X060. And same thing, hash rate results, long period of time. 
wattage, et cetera, et cetera. But the most important thing that you see here on your screen is highlighted in yellow is who wins in efficiency. So the RX 6600 beating the mining specific GPU in efficiency on every single algorithm. So should you buy this mining edition GPU? Nope. Unless you can find it at the right price, at least right now, the 6600 retail can be found cheaper than the Sapphire mining GPU. And doesn't make sense because the 6600 outperforms this mining GPU. Maybe you can get them in bulk to reduce your pricing or maybe pricing changes down the road as GPU pricing levels out in the future. But at least right now, I do not recommend you buying this GPU. I hope I saved you some money and time by doing some testing. You also might be wondering, Mike, this is all great, but I'm really curious how the 6600 does versus the 6600 XT. Well, great news for you. I have a video on that. You can check it out linked in the card right there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Nope.